So this is minimization problem for the LPP model. Okay, linear programming problem minimization model. We'll just read the question and then uh, we form the LPP model. Okay. Can I read the question with me? The question says, a nutrition scheme for babies is proposed by a committee of doctors. Babies can be given three types of foods. Okay, food that are, are represented by one, two, and three. Okay, which are available in standard sized packets weighing 100 grams. The cost per packet of those foods are rupees five, rupees four, and rupees six respectively. The vitamin availability in each type of food per packet and the minimum vitamin requirement for each type of uh, vitamin are represented is all summarized in the below table okay so you have already the table given in the question itself this table is given so you don't have to draw another table okay but if the question the table is not given then you will have to draw your own table in the solution side okay so what happens over here is we have uh, food three types of foods okay so that is food number one two and three okay we have vitamins that is one and two okay minimum daily required vitamin so just note down the word over here it is minimum daily requirement okay minimum daily requirement of vitamin is vitamin one it is six okay so in a day you should get six units of vitamin one and in a day, you should get 20 units of vitamin 2. Okay. So, you need to get this minimum value. Okay. So, you need to plan a method by which you should have these foods. Okay. So, if you have food number type, uh, food number 1. Okay. You will be getting how many vitamins of uh, uh, vitamin 1? How many units of vitamin 1? You will be getting 1 unit of vitamin 1. Okay. Similarly, if you have food type 1 you will be getting 5 units of vitamin 2 okay so you need to form a lpp model such that what is our objective function here objective function is going to be read this question here develop a lpp model to determine the optimal combination of food types okay with the minimum cost so did you see the word over here the key word is minimum cost okay so this is going to be a minimization problem okay so from these words you have to understand whether it is going to be a maximization problem or whether it is going to be a minimization problem okay such that the minimum requirement of vitamin in each type is satisfied okay so you know right cost we always always try to reduce the cost okay so we have here a minimization lpp model okay is it clear is the question clear so our main question is we have the objective function here for one for one packet of food type one the cost is rupees five okay for type two the cost is four and type three the cost is six so you need to make an lpp model such that the cost is less but you are at the same time going to have proper units of daily vitamin that is required okay okay so i'll tell you some clue in this portion you have to introduce some variables, right? I have already told you, you have to introduce some variables. Okay, for example, x1, x2, x3. Okay, will you give x1, x2, x3 for food type 1, 2, 3 or will you give that for vitamin 1 or 2? Can you tell me? For which one will we, give, will we assign those variables? Will we assign it for type 1, type 2 and type 3? x1 for type 1 food, x2 for type 2 food x3 for type 3 food will we assign it that way or will we assign x1 for vitamin 1 and x2 for vitamin 2 can you tell me what what will be our decision what will be our decision can can somebody tell me yeah very good it is going to be for the food types okay so Sana, you have to hold it right why because we have written over here food types okay so our decision is going to be on the food types okay we need to decide a method by which we need to buy these food types such that the cost is minimum okay so we are going to assign our decision variables x1 x2 and x3 for these food types okay so since the question is clear for you we'll go to the answer part okay so first of all we need to i hope you can see the screen okay this is going to be the solution okay we need to assign the decision variables. Okay. Let 
x1 represent the amount of food type 1 okay then x2 represent the amount of food type 2 and last one is x3 represent the amount of food type 3 okay so we have already introduced the decision variables they are x1 x2 and x3 corresponding to food type 1 food type 2 and food type 3 okay so from this table over here can you tell me the maximization equation that is going to be there sorry the minimization equation can you tell me okay, you can see the table right okay so can you tell me the minimization equation or the objective function can you tell me okay so the objective function is going to be minimize objective function is always represented by the letter z okay z dot z star whatever it be so minimize z is equal to how much is what what is that we have to minimize we need to minimize the cost okay can you see that okay this is cost per packet these are the costs okay so 5 corresponds to food type 1 so how will we write the equation 5 how will we write the equation 5 x1 plus next one we have 4 corresponding to food type 2. So, how will we write? 4x2 plus, again we have 6 corresponding to food type 3. Okay. So, 6x3. Okay. So, this is going to be our objective function. Okay. We do not end it by there. We have to write the constraints. How do we write it? Subject to subject to what are the constraints constraints is we need to have at least six units of vitamin one okay so we need to decide how we are going to have these three types of foods in what combination we are going to have we need to decide that okay so what do we do that how do we do that subject to tell me the equation one x one plus can you see that See, this is the first line that we are going to consider over here. One quantity of type 1. So, that is 1x1 plus, again, 2x2 plus 1x3. Okay. Now, our equation is we have to somehow relate it to the quantity 6 because this is the minimum requirement of vitamin. Okay. Vitamin 1. Okay. So, it is going to, we have to equate it somehow to 6. Okay. So, I am writing 6 over here. Now, can you tell me whether it is going to be less than symbol over here or is it going to be greater than symbol? Is it less than symbol or is it going to be the greater than symbol? Can somebody tell me which one will we have over here? Greater than symbol? Which one? It is going to be, yeah, what Marin told is very correct. It is going to be greater than symbol. How do we know that? How do we know that? Yeah, greater than symbol because see over here it is written minimum requirement right minimum requirement means that number okay the six is going to be the lesser number okay so whatever is written over here is going to be the bigger number okay that is a trick for you to understand from the keywords itself you can decide whether you have to write the less than symbol or the greater than symbol okay so since it is written here 6 and 20 okay they are going to be the minimum numbers so the minimum should point to 6 okay so over here i will be writing okay like this i will be writing greater than or equal to okay how did you decide this you you already know the way that we write the greater than symbol or less than symbol right okay i'll show it once again see over here okay suppose this is our symbol should I write a smaller number on this side or on this side, left side or right side? Okay, suppose this is our inequality symbol. Okay, can you tell me whether we have to write the smaller number on the left side of the symbol or on the right side of the symbol? 
we have to write very good. We have to write it on the left side, right? Because if I'm writing um, like we have, suppose we have two and three, okay? I will be writing two over here and three over here. So these are for students who don't know where to put the symbols, okay? So th this is just a clue for you. See over here we have uh, more area, right? The length over here is more. Okay, so this open portion should point to a bigger number. Okay, the closed portion over here you have very less area, right? Compared to this one, this is very small. So this portion where the two lines join together and forms a dot, right? This portion should point to a smaller number. Okay, this is just for students who don't know where to put the less than or greater than symbol. Okay, now suppose I'm reversing these numbers. Okay, I'm writing. Okay, I'm writing three this side and I'm writing two this side. Okay, so can you tell me how the symbol will change? It will change for the opposite. Okay, so when I do that way. Okay, when I do it that way, the symbol will change. Okay, it will point like this. The open side should point to the bigger number the closed side where you have the lesser area it should uh, it should point to the smaller number okay this is just for students who have who make a confusion where to put the smaller number and the bigger number this is just for them okay these are the basics okay so once you once you know the basics the other things are very easy okay so we'll go for the second constraint can somebody tell me the second constraint what is the second constraint going to be Anyone, can you tell me? You can see the table there, right? This is the equation that we are going to write the second constraint. Okay, that is for vitamin 2. Okay, daily requirement of vitamin 2, minimum requirement is 20. So, we need to decide a method by which we should have type 1 food, type 2 food and type 3 food so that the daily requirement is satisfied. Okay, so can you tell me the equation, somebody? Can you tell me the equation quickly? Anyone? Equation 2 is going to be 5x1 plus 3x2 plus 2x3. Okay. And then I have the number 20. Should I write greater than symbol or less than symbol there? Which, which symbol? This is the equation. Okay. 5x1. Yeah. I should have write the greater than symbol. Okay. So I'm writing the greater than symbol there. Okay. Very good. Now, is our LPP model done? Are we missing out something else? We are missing out on something. What is that? Is our LPP model done? We have three parts to the LPP model, right? One is the objective function. One, the second one is the constraints. And the third one is, what is that we call? And decision, uh, decision variables. It is the non-negativity constraints. Yeah, very good. Non-negativity constraints. Okay, so we have to write x1 comma x2 comma x3 greater than or equal to zero. Okay, with this our LPP model is done. 